Welcome to Mechanoid Madness. Hi, this is my version of the hand gripper. I made several types from a pincher to this model that I have now, which is the whole hand movement. Um, what I did is I purchased the servo expansion pack and I got this off of eBay for about $15. I chose this type because it does not need any additional parts and I wanted to use the hand. And most of all, it can hold my mic. <laughs> I've seen some that look good but are not functional. This can grip items and uh, it's functional. This mod is for the G15, G15KS, G16, G16KS, and all future G models. I had to keep the weight down so that the top shoulder servo would have full movement. I, I, uh, did a test experiment where I try to get it to get to 50 and 25 and 0. I will show you that in the example that I have for the LIM. Uh, the wrong way to do it is to use a straight arm. The correct way is to fold the hand up and then move it up. Um, these, these, these servos do not have high torque. The servos use plastic gears and small motors. Higher torque servos use metal gears and bigger motors. The top shoulder needs to have higher torque servos to handle the added weight. I am doing research on higher torque servos but I have to wait for the slow boat from China. I cannot swap these servos with other types because Spinmaster makes these smart servos and only Spinmaster sells these smart servos. I hope Spinmaster will sell higher torque smart servos for the G15. Here is the LIM example. Press red button to read exiting to main menu. LIM library. LIM library. Press green button to list commands. Press blue button to exit to main menu. Hand. Hey, what are you doing with my hand? Go to sleep. With a straight arm, the top servo reaches its stall torque limit at about 50%. With a folding arm, it's about 80 to 90% accurate. For instance, 75% movement is more like 70 and 50% is more like 40. The wiring is the servo uh, for the hand, the hand servo goes to the elbow and then the elbow goes to the shoulder 
and then the shoulder goes into the mecha brain. It's daisy chained like uh, the original installation. Um, you can see the wirings here. Here is a close up of what I did. You have to install some of the parts, some of the nuts and bolts before you finish the servo install and my hands weren't small enough to hold some of the nuts so I had to reverse some of the nuts and bolts I did not install some of the servo parts just to keep the weight down you can see the problem with the servos with the uh, stall point um, leave your comments and questions below and as always thanks for watching